guys are done with all of those pleb commentators, Immortal here, the real deal for commentary. Let's see, we got Nudge, we got Immortal, I'm Immortal, we got Midnight, ready to duke it out, Captain Falcon versus Rosalina. The Make Smash Great Again hat, backwards white, is doing the brackets. Let's go. Do you know who this Chicken Alfredo's is? Who? Chicken Alfredo's, he's telling you to get off the mic. He knows your name. I remember, I know the tag. So do I, I think. Sanders a bitch. Who's running the stream? What's the tag of the guy running the Sarah. stream? Sarah. Snafu is, Snafu is the one that's running the stream, but the yeah. one that like had Snafu everything Snafu is up running the Seraph. stream, Seraph is running the tournament. Right. Yeah. No, I will stay on the mic because I really have no other reason, uh, no reason other than I don't want Shay to get on. Alright, so this will be... Will it be Speed Falcon versus Rosa? First I mistake was choosing Roy as a secondary. You are 100% right. All right, well, this is yeah, Falcon, Falcon versus Rosa. Rosalina. But um, as we might have noticed, Rosa, um, Midnight being a Rosa main, after the first, after the game earlier, he kind of doesn't really want it. Oh, my goodness. He actually just, like, got all the way across the, all the way it, to the stage. It's just a thing. It is. But, yeah, like, don't dodge there. Uh, the only thing... Oh, my goodness. He's dead. Yeah, it's a tough matchup. Uh, the only thing Falcon can do to really get out of that is he needs to hard SDI out and then side B and then side B. Because um, uh, if he tries to jump, then Midnight can call it out with a down air, and then it's an easy. That's answer. really all he can do. I mean, it's the best option. There are other things he can do, but that will work. Oh and my now goodness. he's dead. Yeah, you, you he's actually just dead. Yeah, you never want to lose your jump in this matchup because stuff like that is able to happen. Luma, huge ball of disjoints, Captain Falcon without any hitbox on his recovery that can contest Luma. It's just a, it's just a breeze for Rosa. On one hand, I can definitely appreciate Midnight not to choosing not to sandbag and going Rosa on stream, but man, that was. I thought you said you weren't dangerous. going Bayo. I think this is going to be a little bit worse though. Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, nope. oh, nope, there's the Sheik. Uh, we did see Midnight Sheik drop a game to another Falcon earlier in bracket. Uh, Nudge, one of the people who is a regular attendee at tournaments. A lot of people here, their first tournament. They're not as familiar with the scene, but they're, they're putting up a good showing. Uh, what is what is this tag? Tropoli? Tropoli? Yeah. I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. At first, there, I originally really... saw it on the when I originally saw it on the TV there. I thought that it was like Trollolo, basically saying that he was like sandbagging. Yeah. But that, but now it's just now seeing that it's Tropoli makes a lot less sense. No, we can tell he's not sandbagging like by it. Well, I mean, he's not when he's I, when it, now that he's playing like I'm Rosalina. Sorry. You have an advertisement tab. What? Who is at? Who is advertising? Who's buying this ad time? Oh, all right. Well, Ooh, we, got, we got the nares. Okay, that could have connected into another dash attack, but Nudge content just taking the damage, taking an advantageous position. Another down throw into a neutral air up air. Good percent out of that. Uh, Sheik notoriously light. We are going to see this killing super early into the not the knee. Opts to go for another up air. I, I was expecting a knee to come out there. I think he was probably more. I think that he was wondering whether it was actually going to connect or not. I mean, that was one of the, if that if that was a knee that could have hit. That's definitely what was one of the trickier ones. Because the fact that Midnight was holding it. Uh, I think that in that situation, Knee would have been a 50 50. And I think that uh, Nudge, just knowing Midnight's super experience, knows he's not going to fall for that air dodge trap. I mainly meant just like actually hitting it, not yeah. just the fact that it was a 50 50. But um, I mean, he just holds his own right now. He yeah, really doing a very good job. Uh, those up airs, very strong against, uh, against enemy shielding on the platform. It's very hard to contest Captain Falcon. Very large hit, uh, very large hitbox and up air, not a lot of lag. And, uh, even up B you if you decide to hold shield. Oh, yep, that's that's the. Uh, that was a good use of the balloon, though. By Shazia, that's a very good, very good use. The one thing that I have to say is that I can very appreciate the way that Nuge is that Nuge is deciding to play, like playing this instead of trying to go for these really overextend. Oh my goodness, Lexi! Like, like right there, he's a, he's content with getting just like one or two hits and then just like completely backing off. He knows that there's not a lot of percent that's necessary to kill Sheik, and Sheik is going to take a very long time to kill him if she doesn't get one of these famous uh, Smashville combos. But, oh, that's his jump. Oh, no, no that's it's a not his jump. That was a two-frame. Two and 
connecting with the up B. He does not get his jump back though, and the oh. needle saving him. Okay, at, at least Midnight trying for the disrespect, but ends up giving his opponent a chance. Well, if he had, if he had a jump there, he, that could have been the stomp, but Nudge still with a healthy lead here. Up B he the other the way. Great thing about that up B. If you reverse it, you actually do not lose your momentum. You have the same amount of momentum as if you would have stayed otherwise. Does he have a jump? Very he good. Jump. Yes, he does have. Uh, yes, he does. Ooh, what trick! Oh, oh and then the wow. stomp! Amazing job from N uh, Nudge, just reacting to the ledge trump, knowing that Midnight had to re-grab the ledge Let's without invincibility, stomping him right into the depths of hell. For one thing, chill. But for a second, that was. I'm sick. not chilling. Not just height. And I think Captain Falcon is lame as heck. That was that was super sick though. That was the like that was like literally a textbook punish. But uh, let's, we immediately after that we now see we now see Mr. Uh, and, uh, Midnight. Someone in the chat wants you to go shulk. Will you abide? No. He will not abide. I said no for him. I'm gonna pray that he didn't hear you. Zax only brings donuts. You think he'd stoop so low as to bring cookies? No, fruit brought cupcakes to your birthday. Alright, well, this is game three on town. I will say... That was hype. I got ninth at that. I will say, I'm def I, I don't think that this is gonna, really going to be a lot harder for you, because even if, even if Midnight is, 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 good, is incredibly good as a player, this is, def it, this is, is definitely on a different level. Uh, this is a matchup that's uh, not one-sided. It's definitely Rosalina favored, but Captain Falcon can hold his own. I place it around 55-45. Uh, that's just what I've heard Captain Falcon say. Like, you have a lot of moves to deal with Luma. It's not that it's super far out of your reach. But that was it's a perfect down here. Man. It was. But this is another. It, uh, this is a, this is kind of familiar. The first game started the exact same way, zero to death. The dude apparently just wants to start with one less stop. But the, Luma's dead, so he's got he's he's getting there. And not, uh, he was doing a much better job of uh, playing off stage against the uh, Sheik. Sheik does have quite a few oppressive options to deal with characters like Falcon, who don't have that hitbox on the recovery. But Rosalina is just a whole nother beast. She has Luma, she has her disjointed down air. She just has so many ways of punishing you if you ever. If she ever gets you in that position. Like, this is the position right here. Yeah. Like, you're a, a, back air. a character like Falcon just literally has almost zero options in terms of getting back down when he's up there. But he did get back down, and Luma is dead. That's one thing Nudge do uh, doesn't do that a lot of Falcons abuse. He does not use Gentleman Jab as much as you think he should. Like, a lot of times for shield pressure, he'll opt to just dash away. He'll opt to back, to back air your shield. The jabs don't really come out as much as you think they should, even though they, even in this matchup, they are a great way to eliminate Luma right away. Right, but speaking of which, this is like, I mean, sure, he's on the platform, but like, now he's got to get down, and he's not even going to get the chance to. That's a super quick two-stock for Midnight there. I don't, give, I, I don't even think we got a chance to really see the this moment there. But. No, I know. But I, I, I doubt there was any disrespect. Both oh, of these no. players really good. Uh, neither of them would. I mean, even if it was against Sheik, that was still a pretty solid game that he took. It was so definitely. I can appreciate. I can appreciate his.